हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू इन्सेक्टा चैनल सो टुडे वील स्टार्ट दिस मोरिकल्चर वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ मोरिकल्चर सो कल्टिवेशन ऑफ मलबेरी प्लांट इज नोन एज मोरिकल्चर सो वाई देर इज अ नीड ऑफ कल्टिवेटिंग दिस प्लांट बिकॉज वी नीड टू फीड दिस मलबेरी लीफ टू द मलबेरी सिल्कॉम सो देर आर ओवर ट्वेंटी स्पेसिस ऑफ मलबेरी बट आउट ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी स्पेसिस ओनली फोर स्पेसिस आर कॉमन वॉट आर दोज इट इज मोरोस अल्वा मोरोस इंडिका मोरस सेराटा एंड मोरस लैटिफोलिया सो द वट इज वट इज द इकोलॉजिकल रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द प्लांट टू ग्रो फर्स्ट इज क्लाइमेट सो इट कैन बी ग्रो अप टू द एट हंड्रेड मीटर मीन सी लेवल एम एस एल सो फॉर गुड स्प्राउटिंग ऑफ द बर्ड्स द मीन एटमोस्फियरिक टेम्परेचर शुड बी थर्टीन डिग्री टू थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस देन आइडियल टेम्परेचर शुड बी इन बिटवीन ट्वेंटी फोर टू ट्वेंटी एट डिग्री सेल्सियस आर एच इज सिक्सटी फाइव टू एटी परसेंट एंड सनशाइन ड्यूरेशन शुड बी फाइव टू ट्वेल्व आवर्स पर डे दिस इज द इकोलॉजिकल रिक्वायरमेंट नेक्स्ट वील सी द रेनफॉल दैट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड मीटर टू टू थाउजेंड फाइव सिक्स हंड्रेड एम एम टू टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एम एम ऑन एन एवरेज फिफ्टी एम एम वंस इन टेन डेज आदर यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस और यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस एनी वन यू कैन रिमेंबर देन द सॉयल टाइप दे नीड स्लाइटली एसिडिक दैट इज द पी एच रेंज सिक्स पॉइंट टू टू सिक्स पॉइंट एट then what are the mulberry varieties so for irrigated canva 2 mr2 s30 s36 s54 then dd or vishwa these are the irrigated mulberry varieties and semi semi irrigated are canva 2 mr2 then for rain fed s13 s34 rfs 135 rfs 175 then s1635 so now we'll see the propagation of mulberry so mulberry mostly propagated through the cuttings as you can see in the picture so how you can grow this cuttings either you can cut the cuttings and you can grow directly in the main field or you can grow this bud in the nursery stage then you can transplant it into the main field but this is very advisable because first you can grow in the nursery then you can transplant them into the main field so that is advisable for the well establishment of this mulberry plant next we will see the selection of planting material how you will select generally the mulberry plants are raised in semi hardwood cuttings so normally if in exam it will ask that which type of cuttings is required semi hardwood cuttings cuttings are selected from well established garden that is 8 to 12 month old so the garden wherever you are selecting this mulberry stem or mulberry hardwood cuttings so that garden should be 8 to 12 months old only full grown thick main stem or free from insect disease means quality wala you have to choose okay and what is the diameter of that cutting that is 10 to 12 mm you have to choose the diameter and the cutting should be of 15 to 20 cm long and 3 to 4 active bud should be there and 45 slanting cut should be there at the bottom what is the meaning of this suppose this is the cutting so the length should be 15 to 20 cm then 3 to 4 active buds should be there like this bud should be there here these are the buds these are the buds 3 to 4 active bud should be there then at the bottom 45 degrees slanting should be there like this you have to cut at the bottom care should be taken to make a sharp clean cut at the bottom so while cutting this you have to maintain a sharp clean cut you have to take care because if splitting will occur then it is no use for the plant it will not grow that's why you have to avoid the splitting of the bark then manually or for this giving a 45 degree slanting machines are also there you can use that or manually also you can do next we'll see nursery bed preparation so for nursery bed preparation you have to select 800 square meter of area and the soil should be red loamy soil near the water source you can grow this nursery then you can apply the farm yard manure 20 ton per hectare and mix well with soil then nursery bed size should be 4 meter into 1.5 meter then the length may be convenient depending upon the slope irrigation sources 
then you have to provide a good drainage channel now we'll see pre treatment of the cuttings so you can mix 1 kg of azospirillum in 40 liters of water okay then make a solution and in that solution you can dip the bottom end of the cuttings in that azospirillum solution for 30 minutes okay so what will happen if we'll do this thing then early rooting will occur suppose this is the cutting so roots will grow earlier because of this azospirillum culture then we'll see the nursery planting so here you can apply vam at the rate 100 g per meter square of nursery area then you can irrigate the nursery bed then you can maintain a distance of 15 to 7 cm while planting at an angle of 45 degree and suppose this is the cuttings and already we have discussed that each cutting should have 3 to 4 active buds but while planting make sure that one active bud should be exposed to outside okay suppose इतना अगर ये पोर्शन अगर मिट्टी में डाल रहे हो तो ध्यान रखना कि एटलीस्ट एक बर्ड जो है वो सनलाइट से एक्सपोज हो बाहर हो मिट्टी से ऊपर हो देन नर्सरी मैनेजमेंट सो यू गेट द नर्सरी वंस इन थ्री डेज यू कैन डस्ट एनी वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग केमिकल्स लाइक मेलाथियन और क्विनेल्फस टू अवॉइड द टर्माइट अटैक देन टू अवॉइड द रूट रॉट और कोलर रॉट और यू कैन ड्रेंच द सॉइल विथ कार्बन डेजिंग or you can apply the trichoderma viride then after weeding you can apply 100 g of urea per meter square between 55 to 60 days after planting at the time of weeding then age of sapling so the saplings are ready for planting in the main field is after 90 to 120 days of planting so when you can transport this planting material from nursery to the main field when the age of this cutting should be 90 to 120 Days that time you can transfer it to the main field. Next we'll see the planting method of this mulberry. So there are two types of planting method. One is paired row system. So in this you have to maintain the spacing that is sixteen to sixty centimeter. Again in this you will be having two types of planting method that is pit system and row system. In pit system you have to maintain this spacing. and in row system you have to maintain the spacing is this okay time of planting so you can plant during rainy season avoid planting during winter and summer month then this is the pit system as you can see these are the pit and here mulberry plants are planted on this pit so pit system of planting is like wider spacing you have to give and it is adopted in rain fed area so pit size should be 35 35 35 cm and these are dug into 19 to 90 cm spacing then the pits are filled with the fim and you can use also the sericultural compost whatever the sericultural waste will be there that also you can apply in this pit then you can grow the mulberry cuttings then planting of the saplings so when in the whenever you are transferring this uh, sample or saplings to the main field so it should be well rooted then earth up and level of the area around the saplings so you have to suppose this is the plant these are the roots so completely you have to earthen up this thing and then you can plant it with the soil of the nursery and you can transfer this in the main field then gap filling also you can do then application of fertilizer and manure so for the mulberry plant you can apply fim 20 ton per hectare per year in two equal split or you can apply the npk that is 350 is to 140 is to 140 kg per hectare per year for the v1 variety of mulberry and 300 is to 120 is to 120 for s36 you can apply next we'll see the micronutrients so this micronutrients is very much important for the mulberry so apply the recommended major and secondary nutrient based on the deficiency symptom for micronutrient according to the deficiency symptom is expressed you can apply the foliar spray of the zinc or iron or copper borax manganese sodium molybdate these you can apply then also you can add the weighting agent like tpol with this for the better adherence on the foliage 
then methods of irrigation so ridge and furrow methods are there flat bed methods are there so in this case ridge and furrow method most efficient method of the irrigation then flat bed method they are rectangular beds channel but here the water loss is more in case of the flat bed method so ridge and furrow method is recommended you can see this is the ridge and furrow these are the flat bed methods then intercropping you can do intercrop with black gram green gram cowpea then mulching is necessary so this is the point why there is a need of mulching so you can control the weed growth you can conserve the soil moisture then infiltration will increase soil temperature will decrease okay then so now we'll discuss uh, pruning method so there are three types of pruning method one is bottom pruning another one is middle pruning another one is collar pruning so in case of bottom pruning suppose this is the plant so only you have to keep keep team 10 to 15 centimeter then you have to cut the rest of the portion so this is you have to cut the cut from the ground level as you can see it so you have to cut the plants from the ground level okay next we will see the middle pruning so middle pruning means you have to keep 40 to 60 centimeter from the ground level then rest you can cut it then collar or strip system means you have to in this um, like closely planted area you can do this type of pruning system that is in this type of pruning system here also you have to cut the branches from the ground level every time so thus it receives five prunings per year this type of severe pruning require heavy fertilization and irrigation because you are cutting the plants so severely so that's why you have to provide more fertilizer and irrigation to the plants these are not mostly practiced but in case of suppose wherever you are not maintaining the specific randomly you are growing it there you can practice this collar system of pruning next we'll see harvesting so harvesting is required because we will harvest the leaf and will feed the leaf to the silkworms so the method of leaf harvest depends on the type of rearing practice so it is preferable to harvest the leaf during the morning hour so there are three methods of harvesting of this mulberry leaf we'll discuss one by one one is leaf picking another one is branch cutting another one is whole shoot harvest so by the name only you can see leaf picking means only you have to pick the leaf branch cutting means you can cut some branches and whole shoot means from the ground level you have to cut the whole shoot then only you can utilize it for the feeding of silkworms next time of harvest so it is preferable to harvest the leaves during the morning hours then preservation of leaves how you can preserve it use the leaf preservation chamber or the wet gunny bag to store the leaf or cover the bamboo basket with wet gunny bags to keep the leaf cool and fresh